I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed wherever I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread or gaze upon the sky, there's not a plant or flower below but makes thy glories known. And clouds arise and tempests blow by order from thy throne. While all that borrows life from thee is ever in thy care. And everywhere that man can be thou God. I'm Bill Mays of the Crumb Church of Christ, and it's my pleasure to bring to you today's Stepping Stone here on Wednesday, September the 21st of the year 2022. Today's Stepping Stone is entitled Traditions. Now, we all have traditions in our lives, but as beneficial as a tradition can be, it was one of the problems that Jesus continually dealt with concerning the traditions of the scribes and Pharisees. And we find one of these times in Matthew 15, verses 1 through 2, where we read, Then some Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. Then we find Jesus responding in Matthew 15, 3, and he answered and said to them, Why do you yourselves also break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? And they knew what Jesus was speaking about. See, the concern of Jesus was not in breaking some tradition, but rather in a tradition becoming binding in the name of religion. Now, this following story may or may not be true, but the fact that it might be true, however, helps us to see the principle involved which Jesus encountered. There was a delegation of artillery officers from NATO who was visiting their British comrades in arms, and the foreign officers were treated to a magnificent display of motorized artillery in action. Now, this is just a picture representing the idea, not the real thing. But anyway, after all the sound and fury, a rather perplexed visitor approached one of the British officers and asked why one of these soldiers in each of the gun crews had stood at attention throughout the exercise doing absolutely nothing. Well, the British officer answered, why, that's number six. He always stands at attention when the gun is in action, that's his job. But the visitor persisted and said, if that's the case, why do you need six men in each gun crew? Wouldn't five be enough? Well, there was no instant answer from the host. And finally, their own curiosity aroused. And after hours 
are researching old field manuals dating back quite a few years they came up with the answer. It seems that the job of gun crew number six had always been to hold the horse's, the horse's reins when the gun was fired. Well, worldly traditions of men and women can keep us from going to heaven. And so we are warned in Colossians 2 verse 8, see to it that there is no one who takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception in accordance with human tradition, in accordance with the elementary principles of the world rather than in accordance with Christ. In other words, God's way of doing things always, just always beats the way that men and women try to do things in this world. We should always do it God's way. Let us note Paul's answer to this worldly problem here in Colossians 2 verses 6 through 7, where we read, Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him to establish in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. And so I challenge you to walk daily in Christ. Are you? Are you always seeking to do things God's way rather than this sinful world's way? What is your answer? God's way to do things will always beat the way this world wants to do things. Now, if there is something that the Crumb Church of Christ can do for you spiritually, go to our web address, find our email address, Contact us and let us know how we can be a help to you spiritually. We wish the very best for you. I hope you'll join us, Lord willing, this next week for another Stepping Stone. We wish the very best for you in your life. And if you can, we would love to have you come join us this coming Lord's Day for Bible study at 930 and worship at 1030. We would love to have you worship with us. Again, God bless and I hope we'll be able to, you'll be able to join us again for another stepping stone next week.